How hilarious was it when the cutest, most innocent animal sidekick is revealed to have an absolutely filthy vocabulary? Rat face, butt nugget, for brains, you know, that sort of thing. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is packed with moments like this that only adults would appreciate. Let's go find out. Wait. Number one. We once heard a dog's mouth is supposed to be surprisingly clean. That probably wouldn't hold up in lab tests, and it's definitely not true for Perito and Puss in Boots' The Last Wish. Perito may seem like the sweetest, most innocent character in this movie. I don't trust you. Me neither. He cannot be trusted. But when push comes to shove, he delivers one of the filthiest lines in the film. Well, at least we assume he does. Every other word is bleeped out, indicating a slew of filthy swear words unfit for a PG audience. Oh, munching, pinky, nugget, and your snooter. <laughs> The presence of implied foul language and the use of the bleep are both things meant mostly for the adults to appreciate. Number two, get a load of this. Okay, honestly, we have absolutely no idea what actual words Perito is saying in his bleeped out rant to the Three Bears family. That actually makes it a little tamer, because if we can't figure it out, kids couldn't either. But there's really no question what Kitty Softpaws was about to say before being cut off in this dangerous flower scene. This is stupid. All I smell is bullshit. Little kids might miss that one, but not adults. Although we think this one is really in there for the older kids who get a huge amount of satisfaction from knowing exactly what inappropriate word Kitty was about to say. Congratulations, pre preteens. Number three, we'll drink to that. We love it whenever Puss in Boots slides up to a bar and suavely, or sullenly, orders a glass of milk. All of the imaginary language and ensuing antics makes it clear to adult members of the audience that milk for cats in this world functions exactly like alcohol for humans in ours. I mean, this gato is chugging pints, throwing back shots, and in his more vulnerable moments, ordering something high quality just to sip. Kids may have a vague understanding of the concept around drinking alcohol, but specific like another glass of cream make it your heavy our jokes tailor made for the more worldly adults in the audience number four he had to go there Goldilocks and baby bear do not hold back on their insults for each other some of their repartee includes zingers that only adults would really understand we don't expect kids to understand how cruel and funny it is for Baby Bear to call his adopted sister a low-rent Cinderella. You're nothing but a low-rent Cinderella. But for the adults who were listening closely, this sick fairy tale burn is worth the price of admission. Number five. Some of these plot lines are pretty deep. Kids are sure to enjoy the heist, the quest for the wishing star, and the brilliantly animated slapstick and battles along the way. But the real crux of the film is actually something that might be a little too mature for most youngsters to grasp. At the end of the day, this whole movie is about Puss having a full-on existential crisis. I I'm supposed to be a fearless hero, but without lives to spare, I am nothing. At one point, he literally buries his old identity and falls into a feline depression. Luckily, he finds that life is still worth living even if his sense of self has evolved. Us grown-ups needed that happy ending after witnessing this heroic kitty spiral. Number 6. Interesting. Can you say more about that? Even if kids understand some of the humor in Perito self-identifying as a therapy dog, the truly hilarious line about therapy will only have full impact for adults. And his therapy dog! Finally! You need therapy. Puss getting called out like that by his ex is something that's only funny when you've witnessed the complexities of adult romantic relationships. Number 7. This is a sad state of affairs. Puss's life at Mama Luna's depicts the indignity of Puss's geriatric years with painful precision. Most of the jokes around this topic will go over kids' heads, like Mama Luna's concerns about a health department raid. You're not from the health department, are you? We better get you inside because, baby, they are always watching. Number 8. We hope kids aren't encountering this issue with their pediatricians. Doctor slash veterinarian slash barber slash dentist slash witch hunter that Puss sees after being crushed by a bell delivers bad news without a ton of finesse. Puss doesn't appreciate this. You've really got to work on your bedside manner. Bedside manner is not a term most kids are familiar with, so we have to assume this quick dig at the doc made it in the script for the enjoyment of adults. Number 9. 
These bakers are making buns of steel. When our hilarious and unapologetically evil villain Jack Horner orders his dozen bakers to form a bridge for him, he includes the instructions, Flex the glutes, I need a solid surf. That whole concept, including the word glutes, would go over kids' heads. But it's a funny specific to adults, especially with John Mulaney's deadpan delivery. We can totally hear Andrew saying something like this on Big Mouth. Number 10. Get ready to feel old. Young kids who saw Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, when it dropped in theaters weren't even born yet when the first Puss in Boots movie came out. And most of their parents were still kids or young teens when Shrek debuted in 2001. How is that possible? We hope that parents have given kids the proper animated film education to prepare them for the references in this movie, like appearances from Jinji and Pinocchio or the Hakuna Matata motif. But if not, those cameos are for mature audiences only. Number 11. Hasta la vista, baby. If you got that reference, then you may have also been among the folks who got the Arnold Schwarzenegger reference in Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Jack Horner's final moment, sinking into the ground with thumbs up, that he turns into a thumbs down, is a reference to the way Arnold's Terminator goes down in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. You know, the 1991 classic that children are intimately familiar with? Yeah, no. This one was definitely for the oldest adults in the audience. Number 12. It all comes down to the wire. Today's youth are all well-versed in HBO prestige dramas of the early 2000s, right? Well, if not, then it was probably only the adults who noticed that the wolf's whistle in Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, was referencing Omar's warning call as he stalked the streets of Baltimore in the TV show, The Wire. Number 13. Not the bees. Definitely don't think kids were picking up on this meme-fied Nick Cage reference. Actually, most adults probably even missed it. But for those who caught the quick line of the dialogue featuring Baby Bear crying out, no! Not the bees! Just like Cage's character in the cringe-inducing remake of The Wicker Man, it's an extremely satisfying deep cut. Number 14. Is it Jiminy or Jimmy? The world may never know. Kids will get that this bug is supposed to mirror Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio, but only adults will notice that his voice seems to be a pitch-perfect impression of actor Jimmy Stewart. Maybe we need to dig a little deeper. T t tell me about your childhood. Just remember this, Mr. Potter, that this rabble you're talking about. Whether this was an intentional reference to the fine, upstanding moral characters Stuart was known for portraying, or just a failed attempt to impersonate the voice of Pinocchio's conscious from the Disney cartoon, we'll never know. But either way, that's a question only adults will be leaving the theater with. Do you love it as much as we do when kids' films include jokes and references geared for adults? Let us know which grown-up only moment was your favorite in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more references, Easter eggs, and hidden details in your favorite animated films and TV shows.